Good morning to all. This is Akanksha Shukla from Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College. Basically, I am from IT department and today I am going to discuss one of the topic of subject uh, human computer interface that is a speech recognition, digitization and generation. Before move on, moving on to this topic, I would like to uh, tell about something uh, of uh, function keys. So basically function keys are used to perform the specific functions. Uh, these uh, keys are generally we can uh, found over the keyboards. So now move on to the present topic speech, uh, speech, uh, speech technology. So for designers of human or computer interaction systems, these uh, two technologies are very prominent, uh, the speech and the audio technologies. These uh, two technologies have at least uh, five variations. So, first one is discrete word recognition, the second one is continuous speech recognition, voice information system, speech generation and non-speech auditory interfaces. Discrete word recognition, it implies that uh, the recognition to be in the form of uh, discrete values and uh, continuous speech recognition means to have the continuous or to have a categorical attribute uh, attributes values for the recognition of the speech and uh, voice information system basically includes the data of uh, uh, related to voices and uh, speech generation means how to generate the speech uh, by using technologies or with the use of various various techniques and the last one is non-speech auditory interfaces. So these uh, auditory interfaces are basically used for non-speech uh, purposes. Now in detail I would like to discuss these uh, fifth five variations. So discrete word recognition basically it uh, devices or to recognizes the individual words which are spoken by the specific person. They can work with the 90 to 98 percent reliability for 100 to 1000 thousands of words or larger or more than uh, 1000 words or for larger vocabularies also. So speaker dependent training. Uh, it also includes the speaker dependent training. Basically in a speaker dependent training, the users repeats the full vocabulary once or twice and it is also a part of uh, many system, not a single system. So it is a combination or it is a, uh, you can say that it is a hybrid of many systems. So these kinds of e training basically implemented or to implements to yield the higher accuracy comparatively to speaker independent systems, which are uh, which are uh, you can say that which are prominent or which are which we all are familiar in the traditional times. So the but the elimination of this training expanded the scopes of the commercial applications in many more areas or many more fields. Now the quiet environments had mounted microphones and uh, the careful choices of the vocab vocabularies improves the recognition rates also at a higher rate. So these uh, things or uh, these um, uh, these methods or these uh, these options improves the recognition rates at a higher rate. Now the telephone companies which are offering the voice uh, dialing services even on the cell phones also. Basically these uh, services allow the users simply to say the call mom and be connected. Okay, so these technologies are uh, basically uh, focusing on the discrete word recognition means that uh, for a particular you you have to say only a particular discrete word call mom and you will be connected to your uh, known ones or to the that particular specific person. Phone based recognition of numbers yes or no answers and selections from the voices menus are successfully and in increasingly applied and we can see that these are these are having a vast uh, applications over there. However, the full sentence commands such as reserve two seats on the first flight tomorrow from New York to Washington. These kinds of full sentences commands are just moving from or search challenges for the commercial purposes or for the commercial usage. So these full sentence commands are still a challenge or still a uh, you can say that is still a is still not exploring these things in um, current time. So current researchers projects are developing to improve the recognition rates in the different diff difficult conditions or in different different situations different different environments which is particularly eliminating the need for speaker dependent technologies. So speech recognition for the discrete words works well for the special purpose applications but it not serves always a general purposes just like for a particular problems also. Now the next one is continuous speech recognition. 
so the continuous speech recognition systems basically helps in enabling the users to dictate letters and then compose the reports verbally for automatic transcriptions review correction manipulation revisions are usually accomplished with the keyboards and displays also now here in the continuous speech recognition what the user needs to practice user needs practice in dictations and then seems to do the best with the speech input when preparing the standard reports for their particular solution or for the particular problem for solving the particular problem so the continuous speech recognition systems enables the automatic scanning and retrieval from the radio or television programs just like quoting the procedures court proceedings and the lectures telephone calls for specific words or for specific topics so this continuous speech recognition systems helps helps in various areas just say the give, uh, example is given just like in court proceedings so during the court proceedings what happens for example uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the judge or the there is a conversation between the advocate and lawyer and the judge it is happening okay so with the help of continuous speech recognition it captures or it uh, compose the reports verbally now uh, it uh, compose the reports uh, with the systematic manner all the conversation which is happening right now for between the lawyer and the judge that will be recorded or that will be uh, automatic scanned with the help of continuous speech recognition that can be later viewed by the advocates or by the uh, by any uh, person for further proceedings or for further follow ups so this in this manner the continuous speech recognition system enables the users for performing the uh, better approach for the uh, for the recordings of the reports for the verbal communications recording now what are the difficulties in implementations major difficulty for the software engineers uh, basically are the, the software engineers are basically finding the some difficulties so this difficulties to recognizing the boundaries between the spoken words because normal speech patterns blur the boundaries normally we, suppose um, there are various various uh, the different persons have their different accents to speak the words so sometimes uh, to recognize that particular boundary between that spoken words is difficult for the software engineer software designers to identify other problems are diverse uh, diverse accents uh, just like i had told that uh, different per persons or different people have their different accents for the particular word or for the particular uh, spoken words of the whatever they are using uh, whatever the language they are using so different persons have their different accents to speak that particular word so the other problems are diverse accents variable speaking rates some is uh, someone is speaking a particular word slowly or someone is uh, rip, uh, someone is dictating that word more uh, faster than that person so these variation in speaking rates the variations in the accents the disruptive background noises and the changing emotional in intonation so these uh, these are the some uh, problems which the software designers are facing for recognizing the boundaries between the spoken words by the users so the most difficult problem is matching the semantic interpretation and the contextual understanding that human applies easily to predict and disambiguate the words suppose suppose you are suppose uh, the two words have their different meanings but the accent of these two words are same so how to recognize that semantic interpretation and their contextual understanding in terms of uh, all the human beings is very difficult problem in contextual speech recognition in continuous speech recognition okay so generally humans apply humans use these words or uh, human speak these words but the uh, but the identifier have or the identifier will have to face very much problem or um, these uh, problem generally occurs when the when we are when a person is using the disambiguate words means the words the accent of the words are same but having different different meanings so these kind of problem generally occurs while using these kinds of words now the next one is voice information systems the stored speech is commonly used to provide the telephone voice information about the tourist sites and government services and for after hours messages from the organizations so these voice information systems what do they often called they are also known as the interactive voice responses ivr and they provide they are able to provide 
the good customer services at the minimum cost if their proper development methods and matrices are used if not then they even also not be able to provide the good services to the customers so voice promotes the guide users so they can press keys to check an airline flight departure or arrival times so basically voice information systems uh, helps in providing the good customer services in guidance in guiding the customers to what to do next or to uh, or when to arrive there or when to um, for example here the example is given for airline flight departure so i'm saying that when to arrive what is the arrival time of the flight when you have to arrive what is the proper uh, proper uh, timing so that you can easily uh, opt the flights so the voice information technologies are basically popular in popular personal voice mail systems also so these uh, voices or these voice basically guide the users okay so when you have to press key or when you have to when you have to press key to check uh, or when you have to press key to opt anything or when you have require when you have a requirement of anything so for providing the better betterment of the services to the customers we can use the voice information system <laughs> the next one is speech recognition basically speech generation so speech generation is a successful technology with their widespread applications in the consumer products and on the telephones areas so whenever the uh, algorithms are used to generate the sound or synthesis the intonation may sound remote like and distracting so the quality of the sounds can be improved when phonemes words and phrases from digitized human speech can be smoothly integrated into the meaningful sentences so speech generation basically is having their applications in the telephone area telephonic areas or in the consumer products so whenever you are going to generate uh, when you are going to design the algorithms for generating the sounds then into uh, intonations which we are using are may be sounding or distracting so to improve the quality of the sound okay we use uh, we we use uh, some algorithms so that uh, the human speech can be smoothly integrated or can be smoothly identified as a meaningful sentences so text to speech utilities text to speech conversions like the built in microsoft windows narrator can be used to read the passages from the text in the web browser and the word processors so this conversions or this uh, translations also helpful for converting the for generating the speeches from the text process now the speech generation and digitized speech segments are usually preferable when the uh, what are the various conditions when the speech generation and digitized speech segments are usually preferred so whenever the messages are simple or short whenever they deal with events on the time whenever there is a requirement of an immediate responses whenever there are vi users visual channels are overloaded they must be free to move around when the environment is too brightly lit too poorly lit subject to severe vibrations or other wise unsuitable for visual displays so these are the some conditions uh, when uh, when the speech generation or digitized speech segments are usually preferred by the user when we suppose first uh, first one is given here the messages are simple and short when the messages are simple and short and they cannot have uh, they cannot interpret the meaningful meaning to the uh, to the viewer so at that circumstances at that time we can generate the speech or we can have the digitized speech segment so that we can have clear interpretation or clear meaningful sentences for that particular word whenever the things are dealing with the events or time then speech generation can be used to identify then which event is occurred at what time so these things also deal with the help of speech generation and digitized speech segments whenever there is a requirement of an immediate responses then you can use the speech generation so that you can convert the text to speech and you can have the clear understanding of the problem and then you can you can give the uh, immediate response for that particular problem whenever the users visual channels are overloaded then also you can convert the, the convert that to visualization part into the speech form and then you can have clear understanding of whatever the things are going on whenever there are there are the things which are free to move around then also you can uh, have uh, up from that whole part you can have the digitized speech segments and have clear uh, interpretation of that particular uh, sentences 
whenever the environment is too brightly that you are not uh, able to so what is uh, what uh, what are the things have been written when uh, what are the things are uh, not currently being delivered so these severe things or these unsuitable uh, things for the particular environment whenever we are facing these kinds of problems then speech generations techniques are generally preferable now what are the non speech auditory interfaces basically auditory outputs include the individual audio tones on a computer or more complex informations which are presented by the combinations of sound and music so computer system generally what does what do what uh, did uh, they perform the addition of the range of tones to indicate the warnings or to acknowledgement the completion of an action whenever the uh, task is completed then it will send an acknowledgement for the completion of that particular action so early tele types included a bell tone to alert the users that a message was coming on that paper had run out so these kind of things can be indicated by the alarm or by the bell use of bell now later on the computer systems added the range of icons or sorry range of tones to indicate the warnings or to acknowledge the completion of an action just like um, we we have a we have a you can see that we have a we are using a, a, in our household appliances we are using the bell which indicates that our 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 water tank is full so we have a bell which indicates that now the water tank is full you can switch off the motor so these kind of things basically we are we are using in our household appliances now here what happens here computer systems are added a range of tones which indicates the warnings or acknowledgement for the completion of that particular action so auditory icons just like door opening in iot basically these concepts are used in iot internet of thing so just like uh, we are we, you are going to uh, open that you are in front of that particular door and with the with the image recognition the door is Uh, the door is automatically open so uh, liquid pouring or ball bouncing help reinforcements the visual metaphors in the gui based things or the product concepts for a toy so these are the some things where you are we are we, whether we, we uh, here we are using non, there is a no usage of speech these are the non speech auditory interfaces means door, door open without your without your um, without uh, you are speaking something the door automatically open with the help of the image recognition or other other techniques so these kind of things comes under the non speech auditory interfaces means in this the speech is not acting as an interface between the two things so these things are known as non speech auditory interfaces game designers know that the sounds can add the realism heighten the tension and engage the users in the powerful ways now the research continues on auditory methods for emphasizing the distributions of the data in the information visualization or drawing the attention for the patterns outliers and the clusters so basically the research is continuously moving on for that particular uh, auditory methods for uh, for for focusing the distribution of data okay for drawing the attention to identify the patterns in a particular data sets to identify the outliers in the particular data sets and how to define the clusters in a particular data sets auditory web browsers for the blind users or the telephonic uses have been also developed so through which it can help to the blind persons also that how to how to uh, inter how to interact with the things users can hear the text and link the labels and then make the selection by using any key entry auditory file browsers also need to be refined each file might have a sound whose frequency is related to its size and might be assigned as an instrument so whenever the directory is opened each file might play its sound simultaneously or sequentially and alternatively the file might have the sounds associated with their file types also so that whenever the user can here whether they are spreadsheets or graphics or other textiles then they can easily identify that which file is now open and from which directory it is opening so the potential for the novel mus musical instrument seems to be especially attractive um, by these uh, technologies so with the help of touch sensitive and haptic devices it is also possible to offer the appropriate feedback to give the musicians to experience uh, the similar Uh, which is um, to give the appropriate feedback for the musicians which have the same feeling less like a uh, experiences just like a piano keyboard drum or a woodwind or a stringed instrument also it is possible to invent new kinds of instruments whose frequencies amplitudes and effects are governed by the 
placement of the touch as well as by direction and speed also music composition with the help of uh, computers expanded as the musical instrument digital interfaces midi hardware and the software is also became widely available at the reasonable prices so the uh, so the researchers who have their interest in these kind of things they can explore more on these topics that's all for today thank you